Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to put your cares away and journey with us into the wonderful world of Smother Goose Land. <laughs> Recognize this building? That's right. It's the residence of the first of the lovable characters we'll be visiting. I'll see if anybody's home. All right, all right. I'm Someone's here. There's so many kids in that burnt boot, it's... Hey, I, 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 you're, you're the old lady who lived in the shoe. I'm Dick Smothers. I've come to visit you. No kidding. Yes, how do you Dickie do? Dickie Smothers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, Don't touch me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I'm, wondered, what, what's, what's the matter with your shoe? Well, I'm tired of this old shoe. I want a modern one. This is a slum shoe. Well, it is. The lining's slum. cracking and peeling. The heels are worn. The whole shoe is tilty. Cool it, kids. Drink your shoe polish. <laughs> Rats. You mm. must have a lot of children. A lot of them, Daddy. Well, um, how many? Hip, you... There's about 112 of those little clowns in there. 112? Yeah, that's right. Well, 100... how, do you, how do you feed 112 children? Well, you don't, really. That's a lot you of kids. You just uh, kind of drop them every once in a while. <laughs> Pull them. What do you, what do you, tell me, uh, what do you plan to do after they're all grown up and they've gone away, you know? What do I plan to do? I don't know, really. I don't know. You don't know? No. My mind left me there. I don't Act know. These flowers, I guess I can live off those for a little while. Well, That's a goody oh, well, there. That kids. set me pretty high yesterday. <laughs> Well, 112 what kids. did you say? I said a lot of, lot of, <laughs> lot of you thought I said poppies. I thought I you said poppies. I didn't say that. Isn't that no. something? With 112 kids, it must keep you quite busy. I, it does. It keeps me active. I, well, I understand that you've, you've had some money sent to you to keep this... Uh, no, this, I haven't uh, had any money sent. We haven't had a cotton-picking cent. Well, I've jammed you... all the kids into the toe, and it's not easy living in the toe of a shoe. Well, why don't you have someone come and fix up well, your shoe? Well, I cried. You can't get anybody today. Well, no, you could try. I had a gardener come in for a while, but whew, the kids teased him, put him in a little chair, twirled him around, stuck things at him. Boy, Daddy, they drove him out of his gourd. Well, that's terrible. You should have more discipline with your children. Well, I try. I mean, I, I just don't have a man around. That's what I need. Well, that's the hang up. That's right. Hey, no. how about you? <laughs> no, you, you how old are you? I'm, I'm too young. I'm a little huh? kid. I'm only 20. Lay it on me. How old are you? 28. Wait. How old are you? Hey, kids, I got a live one. <laughs> I tell you, I've never met the old woman in the shoe, and I gotta tell you. I... Hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm Jack and Jill. <laughs> you're who? I guess I'm Jack. You're Jack. You mean you're the Jack with Jill who went up the hill to fetch a pail of water? No, no, that's not how it goes. It's a smother it's goose rhyme. No, that's a mother goose rhyme. You mean smother goose is different? Yes, it's different. Oh, how does it you go? Know, Jack and Jill went up the hill to get uh, some beer in a carton. <laughs> Here in when they got there, the beer jar was bare, because on top of the hill was Dean Martin. <laughs> Out. Out. Get it. And, uh, and of course, I think we're all familiar with these lovable Smother Goose characters. A little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds on the way. And little Jack Corner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb, and he pulled out a spider <laughs> and frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> uh, oh. And I've got her tuffet. <laughs> and now we'd like you to meet one of the most famous characters of all in Smother Gooseland. <laughs> You, you have 
got rotten balance. <laughs> you got vertigo or something? Uh, no, no. I, hey, you, you're Humpty I'm, Dumpty, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. Hey, hold it. No, wait, hey, can you stop for a minute? I want to ask you a couple questions for the folks at home. Well, be quick about it. I'm a three-minute egg. <laughs> I hear that you had a great fall. Huh? I hear you had yeah, a great yeah, fall. I had, I had a great winter and a crazy spring. No, 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 no. Huh? no I mean, you had a great fall off the wall. I, yeah. I, you know, I, you shouldn't sit up there. You're going to fall again. I know it, but I like to fall off the wall. What else has an egg got to do for fun, right? No, huh? Watch me go. No, 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 no. No, no, you shouldn't Wait, fall. Wait, fall down and go boom. Inside of him, there's a lot of love in me. <laughs> Now, please, Humpty Dumpty, I, I, for your own good, I want to tell you this. Yeah. You seem to forget. You're, yeah. you're just playing around on this wall, right? That's right. You're just ready to fall off, Having and you ball. don't care. You, you know, you've forgot, right. you forgotten <laughs> that you fell off the wall once. I and know. all the king's men and all the king's horses could not put you back together again. You forget so soon. Well, I don't need them. I got a friend. This little orthodox Indian osteopath comes in. <laughs> and he puts that hand on my shell and goes, Unka Munka. <laughs> and I'm as good as new. Really? He yeah. must be a great yeah. doctor. Huh? Well, great doctor. He's huh? also a great choreographer. He specializes in egg finales. I mean, on stage, kids, for the scrambled egg finale. Oh, you did? Sunny side up, not over easy. Hey. 